Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Technoshiel. So today we are going to see about the Palindrome program in uh, Visual Studio uh, using Python. So this is again our Visual Studio Community Edition. If you don't have it downloaded yet, you can get it for free on Microsoft website. And yeah, it's for non-commercial purposes, educational purposes only. So I go to File, uh, go to New uh, Project. So let's create a new project for a palindrome. I go to Python, Python application. And yes, if you don't have Python installed in Visual Studio, uh, click this link over here, open Visual Studio installer. So I'm creating a new program. I didn't name the project, but that's fine. Python application 3. Yeah, my other two programs, Python application 1 and 2 probably. So what's a palindrome? First of all, let's see what's a palindrome. So if I write a comment here, uh, now my name is, let's take an example, uh, what a h w. Now I didn't get a better example now, please bear with me for this. Now you see the last letter, the last characters, the first and last characters same, the second and second last characters same, the third and third last characters same, and the central characters same. So this is a palindrome. Alright. If it's not something like that, if one of the characters is not same, then it's not a palindrome. You see? It can be last, it can be in, in you, any central one. Alright, so let's start up with it. It's a pretty simple program. Uh, let's take a string. Alright, and let's give the name as this itself. Oops, something went wrong. Now, uh, the second string. String reverse. So, uh, let's take a reversed function and just pass str in this. So, it's just like it's two lists, uh, this and this. So, whatever is stored in this will get reversed and stored in this. Like what I mean by reversed is, uh, str reverse will contain the str with character starting from back to front. So it's a simple uh, function now. Uh, I'm doing a com comparison now. If list str equals str reverse. Oops, it should be a list. All right. Then print that it's an it's a palindrome string is a palindrome if it's not then print that string is not a palindrome as simple as that So let's run this program. So string is a palindrome. So you see this ends how it starts. So like uh, let's take a different string and run it. So you see string is not a palindrome. All right, guys. So it was a quick session today. And that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Do like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. In uh, putting in the effort to give you guys more videos around technology. Thank you guys.